those little cool things you were seeing me do in the intro there were called triplets. And I'm gonna show you how to do them. Don't be afraid of the speed. We're gonna break them down and do them nice and slow. I'm gonna show you why you might wanna use a triplet and then also how you actually incorporate that into your strumming. So get tuned up and let's take a look. If you've been only strumming with your index finger, we're gonna start using our thumb. So I'm just gonna hold a C chord here on the third fret on the A string to show you this technique here. First things first, you wanna be in good playing position. You wanna have your arm resting on the uke. You don't want your arm floating. All that you're gonna use for the movement is your wrist. So if you look at me here playing this, there's not any arm movement going up and down. I'm just kind of rotating my wrist in this kind of rolling motion. So let me show you the triplet fast, and then I'm gonna show it super slow, and then we'll kind of break it down step by step of how to do this. So fast, it sounds like this. Slow, it sounds like this. And we can all do that. So here's how we do it. So I'm gonna start by hooking my index finger here above the strings. Now I'm gonna flick my finger through, but something to notice as I do that is my thumb stayed above the strings. So when you go through with your finger, you don't follow with your thumb, you kind of separate your finger from your thumb. So your thumb is staying above the strings. So that's step one here. Fingers through, thumb is above the string. And then what we do is we follow that down with our thumb. So we go down, and then the thumb goes down. Now, I over-exaggerated that, but you don't wanna to go too far with your thumb past the string. So I go fingers, thumb, and my thumb ends up here right past the bottom of the strings. And then at the end, I just go back up with my thumb. So essentially, you're just playing down, down, up. So instead of doing down, down, up with your fingers, you're doing down, down, up with your thumb and your finger. So let's just try that together holding a C chord and I'm gonna count one and a uh as I do this. So my first down strum will be one and then and a. Uh. So let's just try that really, really slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, So something to note there is you want to be very concise with this. So I'm getting a little theatrical for the demonstration, but you really want to keep your hand within the body of the instrument if you can when you're doing this, using again just your wrist to kind of rotate your fingers through. You don't need to have your arm going through. This is just a really small motion. The more speed that you kind of try to generate with this, the more important it is going to be for you to keep everything nice and consolidated. So let's bump the tempo up just a little bit so you can kind of practice this again. If you need to pause and go back and do the slower repetitions, feel free to do that a few times just to get the hang of this. I will say that it does take some time just to kind of get the feel of your thumb going down and up with a strum. And when I'm doing that with my thumb, I want to also note that I'm not doing straight down like this with my thumb. I'm using the outside part of my thumb to do this. So if you watch, I kind of go down. My thumb's almost parallel to the strings as I go through and back up. I'm trying to use the pads of my finger for this. If you catch a little bit of your nail, that's okay. It's just gonna be a little more crisp of a tone. If you want kind of a warmer, try to stay on your fingertip. So let's just do that again a little bit faster. So here we go, do it four times, holding a C chord. One two, three, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. All right, are you guys ready to bump it up a little bit more? I can see you out there, I know you are. So here we go, the triplet strum, a little more speed, here we go. One, two, three, four.
guys want to bump it up one more tick? Here we go. Last demonstration. One, two, three, four. If you need to go faster than that, I suggest you get a metronome and work on these on your own. But this was kind of just a quick look at how to do the triplet strum technique. Again, finger, thumb, thumb. Spend some time with this. I also suggest watching your hand as you do this. Pick an easy chord that you don't have to think about your fretting hand. You can just hold it down. And the other way that you can do this is just by muting the strings. So if you want to sit there and just watch your hand go through and say one and a, one and a. That's a good way to practice this before you kind of start trying to build speed. Really focus on those slow repetitions. That's the way to really grind the technique out so that when you start building speed, the technique is in place for you to do it. All right, so the next step here is incorporating this into a strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern I'm gonna use, I'm gonna keep it super simple. We're just gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So. Let me demonstrate that really quick. We're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. And on the fourth one, instead of doing down, up, we're gonna do a triplet. So I'll count this. One and two and three and triplet. And two and three and triplet. So let's try that together. We're going to go at a really, really, really slow pace here for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and triplet. One and two and three and triplet. One and two. So spend some time just working on that, kind of getting used to that. Again, you can watch your hand as you're doing that. You're not having to focus on playing a C chord. Really just focus on your rhythm hand. If it helps you to count as you do this, that's really helpful for me, just to kind of internalize this whole rhythm practice. So let's do that exact same chord progression. I'm just gonna bump up the tempo a little bit so you can feel what it's like to kind of go a little bit more towards a song pace here. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and triplet. One and two and three and triplet. One and two and three and one and a. One, two and three and four and a. One and two and three and four and a. One more time. So that's a very simplified strumming pattern that you could just easily kind of start incorporating this slowly into your playing. I'm not suggesting you have to do triplets at all times, but there are several reasons why you might want to do them. You've kind of noticed sometimes I like to end a song just to kind of make it really feel final. Something you can do is just kind of add a triplet in to the end of a chord progression. So if I'm playing something, Kind of a nice way to say, hey, the song is over, and here's a little triplet for you. All right, since most of us are familiar with the island strum, aka down, down, up, up, down, up, I thought it'd be cool to take this very common strumming pattern and show you how to add a triplet to it. So we're going to keep it simple with the chord progression here. We're just going to use a C chord and an A minor chord. So the first time through the pattern, we're just going to play down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's counted one, two, and, and, four, and. So if you know that pattern already, this will be pretty easy for you. If you need to spend more time with this, I have an entire series on strumming. I'll leave a link in the description. You can check that out. So first time through the strumming pattern, standard, down, down, up, up, down, up. Second time through, the first down strum is going to be a triplet. 
one and a. Uh. So we'll do that nice and slow. Let's just start by holding one chord so I can show you how to do the two times through the pattern. So really slow here. One, two, three, four. So try that nice and slow. Feel free to pause the video and kind of work on that technique on its own here. And when you're ready, we're gonna do a simple chord progression here, just back and forth, playing C and playing A minor. So each time we'll do two times through the pattern, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, with the second time having the triplet in there. So strum along with me at home, have some fun, relax. Don't let this bend your mind too much. It's just a triplet. You're still playing uke, you're still having fun. Keep a smile on your face as you're learning, it always helps. So here we go, starting on the C chord, I'll walk us through. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, A minor. So in this video, we talked about the triplet strum, why you need it, where you might use it, and how to do it. So I hope you had some fun. I hope this was informative for you, and I hope this helps elevate your playing. Adding these new little techniques are gonna help you just grow as a player, and that's what we're all trying to do here. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear your feedback about the strumming pattern and share your experience of how you're doing with it. And I'll take it a step further, if you are working on this triplet strum, feel free to hit us up on Instagram, at all for uke Make a video of yourself trying the triplet strum. I would love to see you guys working at this, and I would hopefully be able to give you guys some feedback to give you some help. Speaking of feedback, if you wanna learn how to really dive into the triplet strum from me, I'm offering private lessons on Zoom. You can check those out at all for slash private lessons. You can hit up Kevin on Zoom, hang out, We'll talk about uke, do whatever you guys want to do. Last but not least, I know I'm not supposed to say that, but if you're looking for a Kala ukulele, I am now a Kala affiliate. I'll leave those links in the description. I have a storefront at allforuke.com where you can check out this Akaja uke, as well as baritones and several others, as well as accessories, cases, strings, and all kinds of good stuff. My name's Kevin. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.